Are you a very large man looking for your first bike? That's not the easiest thing to accomplish, but it actually is. I'm gonna show you all about it. Cue the intro. What's up guys, I'm Sean from SRK Cycles with a 2012 Yamaha V-Star 950. Just to go over some of the specs, 650 pounds, so it's not, not very heavy, not very light, but it's a, it feels pretty light. 50 horsepower, 58 foot-pounds of torque, and just an all-around really, really good bike. It's fuel injected. When, when I compare this to some other bikes and other bikes in its class, I, I would say that the, the, the 950 was a step up from the V-Star 1100 of the previous generation. They're great bikes, they're tons of fun, but the, the biggest thing about this is this is a perfect bike for the bigger guys who are looking to start, start starting out on riding. Now you got, you know, normal size people, you know, like me, and I could, I could start on a lot of different bikes. But then you got the, the real big guys. And the last thing, you know, they're not gonna start on a Rebel. Most guys shouldn't. Even uh, the Honda Shadows are kind of small, kind of cramped. But when it comes to the, the real big guys, I mean, you can see that this is only a 950, but I got space. And I got, I got space all over the place. Floorboards, I got knee room. I could be, I could have like, much large, my knees could be this big, I'd still have plenty of space. So the whole thing is just really spaced out. It's got plenty of power. If you're over 400 pounds, it still has plenty of power. I could easily ride double with someone on the back, be cruising on the highway going 80 miles an hour. There is a, uh, a short list of other, of other good bikes that I recommend for big guys who are learning how to ride, you know, learning to mid-level. Now, once you learn how to ride, of course, you go, go buy whatever bike you want to. These, these bikes are not very heavy. And, but they're just, they're spaced out. And when it comes to like power and throttle response, you're not gonna get yourself into, into trouble, but it's got enough power to, you know, to, to accomplish what you want to accomplish. You know what I mean? Going down the road, cruising on the highway, going anywhere. And they're, and they're actually still pretty quick. I'll show you on the zero to 60 we'll do later. The other bikes are, so we got this one, the Yamaha 950. We got the Vulcan 900, also a great bike. BTX 1300, uh, kind of fits in that category, but probably even better would be the uh, the Boulevard C50. The VTX, it's kind of, 1300 is kind of a little step up from this, a little bit, a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier, but it's definitely in the same category. So you got you got those four bikes, all awesome bikes. It all kind of depends on which ones fit you, but they're all good bikes for big, tall, large men. Now I'm not saying short guys can't ride it. I'm sure short guys are fine. I just I don't know. I'm I'm, I'm six two, and I feel very very spaced out, very comfortable on this bike. Let's go take a first spin. All right, guys, before we do the words of wisdom, let's do the, no, before we do the test drive, let's do the words of wisdom. John 15, 13, greater love has no one than this, that one lay down his life for his friends. That's true love. Not that, not what you feel for your wife or your girlfriend. Right, put my glove on. It's hot. It's muggy. It's sticky. But you know what? I'm still wearing my gear. On this awesome bike. Now it's easy to it's easy to if you're just a, like an only Harley guy and you see a bike like this, it's easy to be like, oh, that's just a off-brand. As some guys say that, um, or that's just a cheap piece of cheap. These are actually really nice bikes, and they're comfortable. And they're, I mean, honestly, this has the space. This has the open space and the way it's just laid out, being big as like a road king with big wide beach bars. I love these big bars on this thing. I think they feel amazing. I'm a big fan of wide beach bars. Not like super wide. I've known some guys that they like, like there's no joke, this big. They're legit five feet wide. They can't even drive down like a normal lane without hitting like mirrors. And I think everything about this bike, including the price will surprise you. Um, these bikes almost always come under my top, my best bikes for less than five grand list. Because almost all you, all you need to do is find one that's a couple years old and it's probably less than 5,000 bucks or somewhere around that, somewhere around that ballpark. It's a 950 V-Twin. It's got great, it's got good sound. It's got good power. It's not a powerhouse, it's not a muscle bike, but like most motorcycles, it's pretty quick. It's probably faster than your car. 
We'll see. We'll do the uh, we'll do the zero to sixty in a little bit. You wait. Just wait. But it happens all the time where a lot of big guys and they're having this problem. They're like, "What's a good starter bike?" And then the internet's like, "Go get a Rebel." And it's like, that's it's too small. You know what I mean? You would crush it. And and, and depending on how big you are, in a, in a way, that could be unsafe. You know, I mean, the suspension was not made. I, I believe the suspension is made mainly for a guy that weighs about 150, 170 pounds. And then you can put a girl in the bag. It doesn't help, but it's not it's not horrible. So that puts you at about, let's, let's say, 270 pounds. If you're that much bigger, if you're bigger than that, you know, it's just not ideal anymore. And the suspension sagged in, and it's not going to perform the way it should. So that's why you know a bike like this is a great bike. We, we had a, we had a customer. He was big. He was a big guy. He was pushing. I bet the dude was pushing 375 pounds, and he was tall. The guy was like six seven or six eight, maybe six nine. Big guy. And um, he was looking for his first bike, and I was like, Yo, how would you try this? How would you try this? Uh, V Star 950, he jumped on it, loved it, thought it was great. Uh, never heard from him since. Another thing about bigger bikes and bigger guys is that, you know, a Rebel, a Rebel is very small. It's, it's, it's an extremely light bike. At a certain point, you might weigh more than the bike. That's kind of, that's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. But then also, you know, what I tell people when they're getting into, when they're getting into bikes is a couple things. And you don't have, there's two things that you really don't have. You don't have the throttle. You don't got this smooth. You don't have the muscle memory, right? With the clutch and shifting, so you gotta mess that up. But you don't have that smooth throttle hand. You see these new riders and they get on a bike and they're like, they, like, they don't even know what they're doing. It's like, what are you doing, man? You don't know that it's making loud noises and no one else is doing that? And they have no idea what this this this, it's, it, this this rand is just dumb. They have no idea what's going on until they've really acquired that. And when you have a really really fast bike, that you can make mistakes with that. You can make big mistakes on a bike like this. You're not gonna you know you give a little too much gas. It's not a big deal. No one's gonna get hurt. But then the other thing is the weight of the bike. If the bike feels really, really heavy to you, you're probably not going to ride it because you're, it might be a little intimidating. You know what I mean? So, it, it, so it's called motor. I call it motorcycle balance, and I don't know what anyone else calls it. But it's the ability for you to balance a bike, where you can dis distribute your weight and where you put, you know, where your muscles tension up and do its thing to keep the bike upright. Which is why you have guys who are like 150 pounds, 80 years old, riding gold wings, and then you have young guys that are big, strapping, strong young guys, and they feel, they're like, yeah, that bike's too big. That bike's just too big. And it's like, hold up, man. It's not, no, it's not about the bike. It's you haven't acquired the balance of how to handle that motorcycle. So, that's why, that's why bigger guys can ride bigger bikes, because they can compensate for they can compensate for not having balance with strength you know from strength in comparison to the weight of the bike you know any any no one needs balance for a bicycle because it's so light that's why i, I don't tell people that I, I try to recommend people when it's their first bike to not buy a really heavy bike or a really powerful bike zero to 60 i'm gonna go with uh four four and a half Which on the grand scheme of things, might not be fast for a motorcycle, but for a vehicle on the road, that's pretty quick. That's a pretty quick machine. Let's see what it can do. There. That might have been closer to five seconds, maybe 5.2. I'm gonna guess 5.2 if I had to guess. Now, and, and when it comes to the highway, this thing's got plenty of power. It's got plenty of tall gear. So if you're doing, you know, the speed limit, which I am, always am. If you're doing the speed limit, 
it feels it feels great and you can go fast you can go much faster i'm sure this will i'm sure this will probably do 110 120. this particular one has highway pegs get them highway pegs and cruise so if you're looking for a commuter bike or a bike around town or whatever it is this bike can really do a lot of stuff it's got the windshield it's got bag you can put your stuff in here i'm looking at doing a uh you know, a trip that's gonna be pretty close to horrible on a uh, on a bike that I paid $400 for. It's an old sport bike, and I'm gonna do about 700 miles on it in the next couple of days. Doing it on a bike like this would be a would be a breeze, and it'd be easy. I've got multiple see I got multiple foot positions. I can put my feet up here. I can put my feet on the floorboard, and then I can throw my feet up on the back passenger pegs. And just kind of you know you don't want to cramp up anywhere you can move your feet to a different position it really makes a big deal any guys have been riding you know you're in the same position every time so this thing runs good i don't know how big the fuel tank is but if i had to guess i'd say 4.7 all right guys that wraps it up if you guys are looking for bikes like this this bike might be for sale but we have other bikes we have a lot of bikes uh, srkcycles.com we ship anywhere in the country also if you're looking for the baddest motorcycle gloves on the planet right here these are the uh, m1 moto 508 we were uh we designed these gloves ourselves and it's one of the only motorcycle glove that that is lined right in here with kevlar all up here it's all kevlar that, that's that right there the yellow stuff is kevlar and these are one bad Glow. Let me tell you. Alright guys, that wraps it up. Remember, it's not what you're riding, but where you're going. We'll see you guys later.